I bet it's working now. <laughs> uh, looks like Windows uh, switched up a bunch of stuff on me, so bear with me here. <laughs> Good old updates. Good old updates. GG's on first there, Wimpy. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Uncle Wooly here for part 18 of Elden Ring. We are playing on PS5. Uh, Paul Garlic. Welcome in. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Hopefully you're doing well. And you prefer Paul? Or, you know, do you like garlic as much as the rest of us? Because if so, I can I can call you whatever you wish. Just uh, let us know if you got a preferred nickname. Want to make sure you feel welcome here. But uh, good to see you all. My goodness. <laughs> Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, it is starting to feel a little bit warmer uh, where I live. So I'm happy about that. Happy to be above zero Fahrenheit. And later this week, we might even be above freezing. So that's uh, another huge, huge plus. And also very strange uh, for January. Um, so <laughs> we take the good with the bad, of course. Uh, tonight's stream beer is the Honey Bee Porter. This one is from Crazy Peak Brewing. It says, easy to throw down and packed with a punch from roasted and crystal malts. Enjoy a dry finish from the six pounds per barrel of local sunshine apiary honey. Be careful. This beer floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. It is 7% by volume. So yeah, it's a tasty one. And hey, thanks for that new follow. Much, much appreciated. Garlic is good. Uh, stream is looking crisp. Need some tips on what software you use for console stream. Um, so what I do um, is I stream with a capture card. So I don't know if you stream from console entirely or if you do... Um, or if you do PC with capture card, but uh, I I can point you in the right direction if you're looking for just console only streaming. But uh, if you're doing uh, PC with the capture card, then uh, always willing to help. And if you want to hop in, uh, I know people are parts of all sorts of disc discords and all that. Um, but here's link for all of that stuff. And uh, we do have a stream tips thing in the in the discord. Happy to help people out if I'm able to. <laughs> with my limited knowledge of course um let's see here introduce you to the puppy dogs uh jack russell on the left is roxy she's 14 uh the shih tzu on the right is lucy she's five and not currently in the home but uh he'll be back with us uh by the end of the week he'll be here this weekend our l new little addition, Charlie, he's a seven-year-old uh, Pomeranian mix, and he can be found in the emotes. And I'm sure I could add a couple of those into the chat. And uh, even his emotes just say, deal with it. He's on vacation. He can't be bothered to show up tonight. <laughs> the little guy cannot be bothered. And not be bothered one bit. And that's all right. Wimpy, how are you doing, dude? Uh, where are you at with your platinum trophies? I know you were uh, over 200 last we talked. So I'm curious where you're at. And I am just uh, so excited. We are basically one month and one uh, week away from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I am very, very excited for that. Uh, next Monday will be uh, one full month away on leap day of this year. And I do plan on streaming it if it arrives in the mail or arrives in the post on uh, release day. If it doesn't, I have some other Final Fantasy VII themed type stuff uh, that we plan to do. So very excited for that. So pumped. <laughs> Seven is my uh, favorite Final Fantasy game, so I'm just giddy. It says, uh, uh, both been a long time and not very much of a long time. I mean, uh, like less than four years from when Remake come out, came out, so that's that's pretty good. Hi, fine, welcome in, good to see you. Uh, I realize I forgot to throw on my heart rate monitor, so uh, bear with me here. <laughs> bear with me. I'm going to see if I can throw this on real quick. You know, when you uh, take about a month off of streaming, roughly, and then you get back into it, uh, you still kind of find uh, 
perfecting your pre-stream strategy and uh, ritual, it, it, it has to come back. It takes about uh, 21 days to form a habit. So uh, you can also lose a habit in that amount of time as well. There we go. Hi-Fi, how are you doing? How are you doing? I think you were playing Resident Evil 2 recently, right? And is it, uh, was it the original or uh, the remake? I might have asked you that, but uh, feel free to let me know. 206, Wimpy, what what, uh, what was your last Platinum? Which ones are you working on currently? There we go. We're all connected with the heart rate monitor now. Just got to post our stream beer to the Discord and we'll be ready to go. We'll be all ready to, to get going in the lands between here. And Shrufty let me know that I missed something last week. And he also tried to shame you all for letting me uh, miss something too. 1111 Memories Retold. I don't think I've ever heard of that game. Currently working on the super difficult plat, uh, a Paw Patrol. Nice, dude. Is it difficult because of just ingesting children's content or difficult because the game is actually uh, difficult? Or is it just, uh, you know, uh, an ounce of sarcasm like I would expect? You know, sometimes like uh, games like that can be hard. So I'm not going to rule it out. I'm not going to rule it out. Kid content and slow. <laughs> oh, near impossible to speed run. Unskippable cutscenes. Have you played the Bluey game or is that just on Xbox? I uh, watched a fair amount of Bluey with uh, with my nieces at uh, at the holidays. And I got to say, for like... For a kid's show, Bluey is actually uh, is pretty decent. Pretty decent content. Can't die, so if you miss something, you have to replay the entire level. Oh no, that is rough. Panda, we can definitely, we can definitely do puppy treat. It's not like I said treat at all. It's not like I said treat. I mean, <laughs> my goodness. I even gave them a treat at lunch today. These girls have been spoiled. Spoiled rotten today. That's all right. That's all right. They've earned it. They uh, continued to go OUT um, when it was well below zero outside Fahrenheit. So they've earned some treats, I think. Uh, all right. All right, puppy dogs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness, Rocky. Chill out. Roxy, don't be a treat thief, okay? Got a couple episodes of Bluey with my buddy's kids, and for like a week after, I was sincerely debating uh, just watching that show myself. Right, Strufty? Like, it's, it's a pretty good show. Not gonna lie. Oh, I know, right? Usually that content is for other sites, but... Uh wanted so you guys could see uh, uh, Lucy actually do the shake. Yep. Slippers and socks. Uh, these I've actually co-opted from DJ Wife. Uh, these uh, these turkey 
uh, slippers. Um, so they're almost like communal slippers for the office space, you know. If you're in here, your feet are a little chilly. Yeah. But sometimes during Elden Ring, I kick them off because things get a little sweaty during Elden Ring. <laughs> K-Squared, good to see you. Welcome on in. Panda, Grufty, Wimpy, Hi-Fi, Garlic. Good to see you all. My goodness. Welcome on in. Welcome on in, everybody. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. I think... Uh... Hey, Lucy. Hey. Hey. Chill out. Yeah. She might take the backdrop with her if we're not careful. <laughs> she loves to rub her face on things. Silly dog. <laughs> Uh, I have been catching up on Demon Slayer. I don't know if anybody's into that anime, but my goodness. Uh, I've really been getting into Demon Slayer. I just finished the Entertainment District arc. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I think I like the Mugen Train arc just a little bit more. Uh, it was a little more emotionally impactful to me, but uh, all of it. Uh, very, very emotionally impactful. Uh, the Familia has been well, too. Uh, they're all good. Um, DJ wife side of, uh, things, they've been getting a little bit of the flu action through there. So they've been a little under the weather. So if you can uh, keep them in your thoughts, that would be super neat. Um, but overall, not too bad. Not too bad. So big cheers, everybody. This is the honey bee porter from, uh, crazy peak brewing. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. All right, Elden Ring. That's what we're playing tonight, I think. That's what we're playing. If uh, things are too loud, too quiet otherwise, please let me know. Um, definitely can make adjustments as necessary. I know this uh, this music is super loud. I definitely need to boost this in my headphones a bit. There we go. That's a little better. Your boy was able to run today, which means your boy is back, which means your boy can start eating sodium again and thus spicy food, and you know what that means. Um, we're going to have to get that on the books then, Strufty. Um hit uh all of uh the spice boys up uh outside a stream and uh we will definitely get something going oh my gosh lucy <laughs> this dog has brought her bed way over there <laughs> what are you doing lucy huh and thank you for the biddies dude Thank you for the biddies, dude. Oh, you're flipping tables when you play Elden Ring? <laughs> Lucy. I think your bed is okay. I think you uh I think you can lay down now. Yeah. Your work is done. <laughs> she made that thing nice and cozy. Gonna need a couple weeks uh to get my tolerance back, but yes, uh I think we're close that we can schedule. Hey dude, no, no worries at all. Uh, I'm happy that you're feeling a lot better and uh, you're getting back to your normal routine, man. That's uh, that's excellent news. Can we get some GGs and hearts for Strufty, please? And also uh, some hearts uh, for Panda. So, Strufty, you were telling me that I missed out on some stuff. Uh, down where the uh, gargoyles are at. And that I need to go back there first, right? That's what you're telling me? It's, yeah, it might be this one. The basin is where they were at, I think. I want to be where the gargoyles were. I just don't wish to ever fight them. Oh, okay. Let's go the way of the thing, right? Oh, you can rest in the coffin. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, 
hey, you know, you're welcome to hang out, um, but I would appreciate that you don't uh, petition for commissions and stuff like that if you've never even just introduced yourself in chat. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a time out there. Uh, but if you uh, want to hang out after the time out, you're more than welcome. Uh, but we just don't do uh, unsolicited uh, stuff like that. I mean, there, it's a way to shoot your shot, I guess. But uh, <laughs> you're going to be met with a lot of timeouts or bans um, just due to the nature of things. So. Is it is it this strifty? I'm supposed to rest in this coffin? I can't believe I missed this. This feels a little too much like the, uh, whatever that place is, um, in the Dark Souls 2 DLC, where you rest in the coffin, slide down the hill, and then you have to fight, um, the reindeer from hell. Uh, that is one of the worst, uh, areas of the entirety of Dark Souls 2. It, it feels kind of like it, but this is neat. <laughs> yeah, I should have just followed the, you know, the bright shining thing that was pointing in the direction I needed to go. Imagine that. People actually do such things. I love how in cutscenes your uh, your armor is there. I like that a lot. Hey, thanks, Jared. Just waking up. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. The deep root depths. Let's definitely uh, get this side of grace. Well, to be fair, chat was just obeying the no back seating, so. They have an excuse. I don't. <laughs> Jared, how are you doing? How was your weekend, man? Oh, that's just like a avatar just hanging out as a regular mob. This is uh, fun. This is fun. Nope. Too soon. a bunch of uh, gun V Pokemon. How is it treating you, dude? I've seen a lot of good things. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. He does it again.
That's the ticket. <laughs> and I'm missing an optional area that actually has some plot value in at least one dope fight. I mean, that and I'm looking for all uh, optional bosses. Um, so I appreciate the uh, looking out for me, Scrifty. It's got some potential. Uh, did anybody see, I saw some posts today about, uh, looked like people have already modded it to just have regular Pokemon and Ash catch him in it. Uh, and honestly, I think I kind of want to play it now. <laughs> I think I kind of actually want to play it now. Oh boy, no. Oh, what are these? Uh, this... Anybody's got fear of ants. I'm sorry. Gosh, when am I supposed to... Attack? Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I do good damage. I do good damage. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just got to find the weak spot. <laughs> Wizard, welcome in, man. Welcome in. I found him. Uh, thanks to Strufty. Strufty kind of led me in the right direction. Finished Octopath, so that means Final Fantasy 16 is next. Maybe I'll catch up quickly and be able to watch Friday mornings again. I hope so, dude. Um, good luck putting it down. Uh, it's one of those games that I feel like... Uh, man, I wish I had more than just a couple hours every Friday morning to work on that. Because it's... Uh, it's a great game. I think... Uh, I think it's a little underrated. You know, it feels like more people bash on 16 than uh, than people are liking it. So uh, I feel like it's underrated. Well, let's get ourselves some. Nope, not what I wanted. I needed my uh, my lantern, and I used that instead. Like a big old idiot. Like a big old idiot. Where's my lantern at? There it is. There it is. Struggling to accept that you're going to be able to stream. I'm not going to be able to, Shrefty. Um, uh, it is going to take over my Monday, Wednesday slot until I'm done with the game. And it might even take over Fridays, too. It, it depends if we're done with 16 by the, by the release of, of Rebirth. Because if we're done with it by then, it might just take over the entirety of stream until I'm uh, through the main campaign. I just, uh, I don't want spoilers, and I think that's probably going to be the most efficient way to, to take care of that. So I don't have to uh, deal with the crippling anxiety and fear of uh, <laughs> getting it spoiled for me. And with that being said, that Thursday night, so pending that I actually get it on release date because I was unable to secure that date off of work, uh, is I plan on basically like starting stream maybe about an hour later and then just streaming all night. Uh, so that might be the plan for me uh, at the release of Rebirth. Because uh, I, I just got to inject it straight into my veins only two or three a week, it will give me time to get ahead of you. <laughs> I mean, that's true. But I, I'm just going to need as much of it as quickly as possible. Because that's what I did with, uh, with Remake. And, oh, I loved Remake. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, oh, and we have Flying Ants. That is, that's, that's... That's real pleasant. 
Yeah, Rebirth Marathon. Uh, we're just going to start it, and we're not going to stop streaming until it's done. I joke. <laughs> I joke about that because I actually do have to work that Friday. But we might do a special uh, stream that weekend, too. Um, I do have one thing that I <clears throat> am keeping as a bit of a surprise, but I will announce it next week uh, in regards to that. So... Uh, be on the lookout. I'll, I'll announce it here and on my socials and all that jazz, but uh, can we just stagger him? Yes. Yep, that's the way I think. Just don't even give him a chance. Tifa cosplay? Can I work that out in time? Maybe. 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 Uh, no. Nah, that's too much work, Blizzard. That's too much work. I don't think the second story of our house would support that much water. In, uh, in one of those tubs. I say tubs. I mean, it's literally a kiddie pool for, uh, a lot of these people that have set those up, so... yet <laughs> you're not going to do it yet yeah I mean I could be convinced in the future to do such a thing for like charity or something if I'm going to do something that I deem kind of kind of stupid you know at least let it be for something that is beneficial to others <laughs> I'm getting close to needing to make some decisions about what game I want to be my 100th plat. Finishing up Remake uh, is one of the lead... You haven't done the plat for Remake, Shrefty? You should do that. You should do that, dude. Ooh, that was close. Gosh, I just... I'm not seeing the path forward here. Getting a little nervous. Maybe that spot over there. Come on. Up, up, up. Come on. There we go. All right. So which one was it that went? Okay. It's that one over there. But we're here now. <laughs> it's here. It's here in the now. Yeah. Um, have you done the hard playthrough yet, Shrefty? Um, I think I, along with Wimpy, I think... Wimpy, how long did it take you to do the... Uh... How long did it take you to do the old, uh Platinum for Remake? I think we were pretty much on par with each other. I took a little bit longer. I think, I want to say it was like within a month or two. Maybe two months. After Remake came out. That we each got the plat. Oof. I need uh, hard mode. The boss is exclusive to hard mode and chin-ups. Okay. The chin-ups one was uh, a bit egregious, I feel. Um, the chin-ups one was tough. Uh, the optional bosses on hard, though, whew. Good luck, dude. Uh, those ones are super duper rough. Wish I was streaming when that came out. Because uh, that would have been a fun one to do on stream. Took me just over a month. Time in game, no idea. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, in, in normal normal days. Oh, man. This is a whole army. It's a, 
It's a full swarm. Oh no. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Okay. Okay. Now I don't feel so bad. Oof. That got scary for a second. It got just a bit frightening. That is awful. Yeah, if you could just not with that, that would be super sweet. Okay, where's your buddy at? There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's lure these guys one at a time. Thank goodness for the stagger. Without the stagger, this would be near impossible. <laughs> It does kind of feel like that, doesn't it, Jared? They are kind of cute, though, with how, like, they have the little hairy... It's like a little furry guy. Kind of cute. But also frightening. Oh, boy. Kind of cute, definitely frightening. Know something ahead. Okay. What is that on the wall there? Come on. Jump. 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 <laughs> oh, it's just the, the butterflies. Okay. I'm just, uh, I think part of me is like really excited for Gold Saucer in uh, in Rebirth, to be honest. I'm, I'm really excited to see how they've uh, really uh, expanded the minigames and everything. Oh, the snake balls are awful, wizard. <laughs> Those things are truly awful. Oh. Yep, still one flying around. How does it feel like... I think it just feels strange to get uh, this far in the game, and they're still giving me, uh, like, Smithing Stone 4. I feel like it should be, like, a 5 or something this far in. Did that not work, wizard? Should have worked. Maybe it's just uh let me let me check. Let me check. Maybe that one's broken.
B W Y. Yeah, that should have worked. how loud that was for everybody. Maybe I shouldn't uh, play it too loud. Oh, I know what's happening. Yep. All my alerts went bonk. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'll play it for you. I don't think that worked either. No, I broke it. I broke it this time. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it right now. That's what we'll do. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Audio. Yep. Yep. Things broke. Um, okay, we got that sound effects we need that and this we need usually windows updates don't break that it's been a while since they've uh, broken in that regard uh, let me just double check one more thing okay give it one more try same command you used earlier I bet it'll work it might be too loud, but we'll find out. I ain't helping you, Mom and Dad. I don't want to play games with my friends. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah, apparently uh, that Windows update really broke things, and uh, I didn't uh, get things fully tested out before stream. You can blame me, though. Usually I blame Bill, but you can blame me. Yeah, I did not expect uh, those guys hanging on that branch back there. Let's see if they've made themselves known. Nice. Get out of there, Torrent. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Should be all fixed. I should have known when the one thing wasn't working when I uh, started stream that this other stuff probably wasn't working. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit murky back here. This is cool. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I take it back everything I said about this being cool. When I found out there's basilisks. Um, no longer cool. Oh, no longer cool. Very much not cool. Oh, no, no. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. I forgot to throw my heart rate up. I have it connected. Jeez. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> Hobo Baggins. Welcome in, dude. Welcome in. Thanks for checking in. You are the warmest dumpster fire 
um, any side of Twitch. How's it going, dude? How's your weekend? Thanks for stopping by to play some Mario Kart on Friday night, too, by the way. If anybody wants to join, uh, I'm going to be scheduling another Mario Kart night because uh, I know there were some that missed that wanted to attend. And we also did not quite have enough time to uh, watch the... Uh, another watch of Advent Children. So if uh, people want to uh, vote, I will be putting a poll in the... Uh, in the Discord uh, soon. I don't like these headless knights. Oh, ouch. I don't like you. Hey, that's my beer. <laughs> hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Melly, how was your stream? How are you doing? It is good to see you. And I totally get if you need a raid and run as well. You've been streaming for a while. So if you need to take care of those post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, food, or anything like that, please do. What are you doing? How was the rest of your uh, play of uh, uh, Pal World? I think this is a safe spot. Is this safe? Hobo, thanks for the shout out. I know it was you. I know it was you. <laughs> Got back from a doubleheader baseball game my daughter was cheerleading for. Uh, baseball or basketball? Uh, I mean, I suppose it's a little early for spring training, but... Uh... It was good. Uh, doing some survival alone was kind of lame. Uh, most games are a lot more f fun with friends. I mean, that's fair enough, right? And Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before, Roxy's the Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Uh, Lucy's the bit of a floof on the right that uh, is being very elusive tonight. She's five. And our little boy, uh, Charlie, is not currently in the house. And he's saying deal with it in the emotes. Uh, he's a seven-year-old Pomeranian. All of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. My mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are side content, I assure you. <laughs> Welcome in, Melly. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for sharing your friends with us. Can we get some hearts and everything for Melly? It's not my thing, but I think fun with friends, though. It's kind of like a lot of games can be that way, too. Uh, but it seemed like you were having fun uh, with your friends that you had on your stream earlier. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you. I suppose I should give you a cheers. We are sipping on the Honey Bee Porter from Crazy Peak Brewing tonight. And I need to be careful with this one. It is, uh, it's delicious. But it's also 7%, so you know it's going to sneak up on me. Just like all these basilisks did. My goodness. Not a fan of those. All right, there's more here. Oh boy, is there more. Yep, let's ride, Torrent. Let's ride. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, hey, let's jump. Oh, not that way, though. Not that way, though. Maybe at the building? Oh, sweet. That was awesome. Materia leaf. Okay. And get down there without dying? I'm assuming I can, but uh, uh, I don't know. Feels a bit iffy. Go down this way. Smooth and 7%. Yep. Yep. 
And that's, uh... That's why I don't have the six-pack in the room. That's why it remains in the fridge. <laughs> it's a little too dangerous. There we go. Bud Light Platinum back when they came out. I mean, that's fair. I've never been much of a Bud Light drinker, but, uh, you know, I will say to each their own. Uh, I think I kind of, like, I was out of my... I was out of my, like, major brewery lager phase uh, by the time that came out. Because when did, when did Bud Light Platinum come out? Does anybody... Anybody have a date on that? I don't get me wrong. I still have my quantity beers that I do enjoy from time to time, but uh, I think I had found my quantity beer by that point. Early 2012. Okay. Yeah, so I was, like, right on that cusp. Like, two years before I started brewing. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Dude, no. You can stop that at any time. Oh boy. <laughs> that was close. Risky. Risky, risky. <laughs> oh, that was greed. That was straight up greed. Just let me heal my guy. Yeah, White Claw. Because don't they have White Claw without the alcohol now? If we are playing like beer pong, I drink Bud Light or whatever. Uh, I hadn't had either in a hot while, but the plat was... I think it's kind of like... To me, it didn't taste a whole lot extra than uh, like Michelob Ultra, I think. We used to drink a, a ton of like Michelob Golden Light. And for those that aren't in uh, the region might not know what that is. Because that, that is like a seven-state uh, distribution thing, I think. It's not widely distributed. Oh, that does sound gross. But then again, white claws are kind of gross to me, too. So, <laughs> uh, Not harsh in your buzz, if that is your thing. Uh, just more white claw for you. And that's the thing, you know, you find something you like that maybe not everybody else likes, and then that way nobody drinks it out of your beer fridge, so. <laughs> this feels like a trap. So it undoubtedly is. Don't wake the bear, they said. Okay, I 
was just hoping there was something fun back there. Right? It's just sparkling water. It's come full circle. At first they made sparkling water or seltzers, and then they made alcoholic seltzers, and now it's it's uh, full circle. I mean, it is kind of like that, but I mean, why not just get like a, a good tasting LaCroix or uh, <laughs> something like that? At that point, why would you even bother with that? Uh... With alcohol free White Claw. <laughs> Uh, the one that I used to drink in college because I found out other people wouldn't drink it is um, actually High Life. I don't drink it. It's been a long time since I've had it now, but... Uh... There we go. There we go. Maybe I should use my uh, Wondrous Physic. Here we go. That's it. A high life? Maybe. I just remember the, you know, hanging with the people. I don't necessarily always remember what, what beers I drink. <laughs> That's why I tried to log them on untapped, so I remember. I know, that is uh, one of your, your quantity beers of choice. Um... For me, my quantity beer of choice is uh, probably Rainier beer. Uh, I can't get it where I live, so when I go visit family, I, I stock up a little bit. Oh boy, yeah, this is uh, a mounted battle here. This is the power of mounted combat. I broke his poise. He's got his boys, but I can break poise. Nice. Here we go. Feeling uh, a little better about this. This area is just teeming with uh, enemies, though. Oh, or good hams? Yeah. Good hams is uh, not a bad shout there, uh, there, Hobo. I don't want those other items in there, but I also kind of want a better Side of Grace spot after those uh those stinking uh oh no yeah those guys basilisks just when you uh forget their name they show up blocks from your house they have hams on tap for 250 oh man i'd say that'd be worth it Ooh, nice oh yeah uh they're awful um one of the worst in the series by far uh i don't think i want to go down that way we're getting a good... Do I have... I think I have a telescope. I can actually get a sight on this area. Might not be a bad idea. Can you zoom at all with this? I forget. It is a upper Midwest uh, specialty. Um, 
smelly. <laughs> Can of hams was a dollar. It's kind of like, um, because in your region, and I'm not trying to dox you by any means, but you can get stuff like Lone Star. I think certain um, liquor stores in this area, you can get it. Uh, but Lone Star is probably like, I would say the, you know, very equivalent to, to Ham's. Uh, I'm just kind of getting a lay of the land here, Strupty. It's just a bit uh, intimidating. Just want to make sure I'm not going to, you know. I mean, that looks kind of like maybe where I should go. Oh no. There we go. Oh boy. Yep. Nope. Basically have no health here. This is not good. Yep. You know what? I'm going to chicken out. I need to find myself uh, a spot where I can rest nearby. The Bobbing Bobber Brewery. I want to go there. <laughs> Live to fight another day. Exactly. I need to find myself a good old... Side of grace, just like this. See, that was worth it. That way we can go in with full heals. And actually, we're near level up territory. So let's uh, uh, just do that as well. Let's just do that too. I think it was in the brew, uh, brew wine and drink uh, channel. We need 52, 681. 52, 681. Close. That'll do it. That'll do it. I'm going to go Endurance. Puts us up to rune level 94. And I'll throw up a prediction. We're going to do uh, a prediction for this boss. If you want to get in on that, get rid of some channel points or win some. Uh, feel free. Uh, first try, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus. Prediction is now open for the next couple minutes. I'm going to go do some brave robbing here. Here we are. <laughs> well, you were at a brewery, so it sounds like you uh, you understood the assignment there, Coco. to heck with those guys and let's go over to the boss. All right. One more minute left here on the uh, prediction. So feel free to get your channel points in. If I missed anybody's messages, please just uh, feel free to send it again. Uh, I'm a little bit, oh man. 
It's been a while since I've had a rolling rock. I'm just catching up there, Melly. Um, used to drink those a lot in the like early 2010s era. <laughs> uh, I do like some of the alcohol-free beers um, that are out. Athletic Brewing puts out a couple of uh, really good uh, NA IPAs. Also, uh, the hop water, like the hoppy refreshers from like Lagunitas or Surly Brewing are so good. It's just like... Uh, Sparkling water with hops, and that is very refreshing. Uh, no notification. Oh. Um, yeah, if you have the notifications turned off, Wimpy, it's a thing. Oh, now I have the pressure, Melly. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's get rid of all this extra stuff. And I think I'm going to do my flask of wondrous physic right away. That way we get at least one free smack on the crucible night. Siluria. Cuts out a lot of health. Oh no. Nope. That was bad dodging there. close <laughs> oh that was close sorry about your channel points there Melly. i felt it i felt like it was possible um let's uh make sure we get our boss up here um it was uh crucible night siluria um don't mind the spelling don't mind the spelling Um, so I only do things, uh, wimpy, uh, in the notifications on mine. I rarely tag everyone. Uh, it's usually at here. I think the only one that does everyone is, uh, my go lives or if it's like a big surfer announcement. Otherwise I try to be pretty limited on that and just tag whoever's, uh, uh the announcement applies to. Uh, you can. Um, I'll hit you up outside of stream. We can talk. Uh, we can talk Discord stuff. Unless somebody else uh, wants to. I I'm just not good at describing things without having it up in front of me. <laughs> in Melly, I know you're not going to count it as one, but to be fair to everybody else, uh, it still counts. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I think we can do it on this try, though. Got me again. That attack is ridiculous. Nope. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, there goes gravity. 
yeah, it turns out you can fall off the ledge. And the hardest part about living in this pit in the is probably eye keeping my suit pressed. In the rats. In the rats. Scruffy. Hobo, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bobbing Bobber, highly recommend Five O'Clock Shadow, Vanilla Cream Ale. Oh, dude. Um, there's something about cream ales or kolsches, uh, with coffee. Uh, where was it that had the coffee kolsch that I'm just enamored with? Um, it was Banger Brewing in Vegas, um, on Fremont Street. If they're still open, they, uh, they used to have a coffee kolsch that was to die for. <laughs> it was so good. So dang good. Crucible Knights are so hard anyway, to heal I during. Blast. There we go. Oh! Oh! He staggered the poor fellow. Nice! <laughs> Alright, three attempts. Three attempts. Uh, thank you, Pilgor, by the way. We did start blasting. <laughs> there we are. Melly, sorry about your channel points. But thank you for taking part in the prediction. It is much, much appreciated. All right. Let's go find out what's in here. Let's go find out what's in here. It does feel good, Wendy. <laughs> Crucible Helm. Oh, yes. New drip. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this equipped. We got the Crucible set. It's probably going to make us heavy, but uh, that's okay. It might not. If we can still mid-roll with this, uh, I'm going to be very, very excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yep, big fan of this. Big fan of this. Oh, hi-fi. Those are some kind words. Those are some real kind words. Thank you. <laughs> We're happy to have you here. Happy to have you. Dude tried the crossbow strat. That did not work. Come on. That's how you draw your sword. All I got to say is no you. I find. No you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wimpy. See, Wimpy's actually hung out with me in real life. He knows how much of a dork I am. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop. I don't like that his friend is coming over, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Getting dicey. Oh, 
Oh no. One shy. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I only tolerate his antics because I met him back in college. Yeah. You know, that's the only reason. If he met me nowadays, he'd be like, I I cannot be bothered to get emotionally invested. <laughs> like your uh, people you meet during formative periods of uh, of your life where you're you're more than willing to overlook their shortcomings. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, wizard uh, periodically puts up with me in real life too. So. Thank you dudes. Seriously. I can be a bit much sometimes. I understand. That. Let's see here. Let's see. So I'm imagining there's more than just that boss down here, Strupty, uh, is what I'm thinking. But. Like that. Or that. Oh. Good gravy, man. I need to get those runes back, though. Need those runes back. Yep, that is true, Wimpy. I'm going to need to... Uh, I need to brew uh, some Irish Red this year, and I need to brew some more beer, because it is the... Uh, the 10th uh, year of uh, me brewing beer, other than a couple years off during the pandemic. But as far as like, you know, it's the 10th anniversary of having brewed my first batch of beer. So I need to uh, get after it a bit more. This year. The goal is to brew at least four batches, if not more. Like it's gonna be a four minimum. are at the capital too so after we uh kind of do this stuff i think it's uh gonna be off to the capital did watch some of Pwemi's stream on sunday and uh looked like uh Pwemi's kind of explored some of the more optional areas of caleb so and uh, we'll get to that at some point but for the time being I'll try to stick to more of the main areas. Prince of Death Staff. I mean, is that Ozzy Osbourne's walking stick? I think we need a certificate of uh, authenticity for that. Oh, some Irish Reds on the pontoon. That would be nice. Uh, free beer is uh, always always a good thing. Um, it's actually one of my favorite kinds of beer. It is is free, and the other kind that's really really good um, is cold. Cold beer is actually really good too. This feels a little bit uh, too much. A little, a little steep. Nope. Poor torrent. Oh, good lord. Nope, just keep moving. Jump up there. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, no, 
not a fan of this. Uh, open beer, those are good too. Those are really good. Uh, No, no, no. Oh, platforming the platforming. That was uh, quite rough. There's a side of grace there. I kind of feel like that's one I've already been to. Maybe. Maybe not. No, I think I need to go there. How do I go? Here we are. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Oofta. This feels like a boss arena. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a prediction up just in case this is a boss. If you want to get some channel points in on this thing, uh, just make sure that you do so in the next couple minutes. But the prediction is open. If you think I'll get on first try, two through five, six to ten, or eleven plus, feel free to get those channel points in. A couple cans of beer in my fridge, two of them almost a year old. I would say it depends on the alcohol percentage. Uh, hobo and also the style of beer but if there's over like three percent of alcohol you're probably safe in terms of like foodborne illness uh, you're probably safe on that side of things so in case that's holding you back 7.3 percent ah you're good you're good I'm guessing maybe IPAs. Um, I don't know, uh, Struffy, but I just see this big open area up here, and it, and this whatever that thing is, and this feels boss-ish. It's a hazy. You should be fine. Might even have some yeast in the can still, so that you're good. All right, we got about a minute left on the prediction here. Get your channel points in. I feel like Strufty added uh, those points on 11 plus. I have that feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling. All right, we're gonna go in. All right, I can't use the horse, so that's... Uh, Great sign, right? No torrent for this battle. Oh, man. is champion. Oh. Ouch. Nope. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Why couldn't I use my ability? There we go. I feel like that's some type of phase one nonsense. There's no way it's that easy. I'm guessing there's three. Or more. Oh no. Oh no. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. This will be a fun one. Fia's Champions. I'm just going to call it Fia's Champions. Okay. So we got one attempt on. Champions. There we go. It is unfortunate that you have to get that far into the boss arena. Yeah, just another little warm-up. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll say that. <laughs> It won't be 11 plus. I hope you're right, Strefty. I'm not a fan of gank fights, though. Uh, like the gank squad in uh, Dark Souls 2 was an awful boss fight. Yeah, just a little re reconnaissance, right? Just to get to know the lay of the land. Blood loss there. Sweet. <laughs> I appreciate that, Scruffy. I appreciate that a lot, dude. I just hate being stun locked, you know. That was the one over by the Glintstone Dragon, right? If I'm not mistaken, Shrefty, I think I remember that. Which was a fun one to find out that was, uh, you know, optional. I mean, optional in other people's playthroughs, not not this one. All right. Where'd I drop my stuff at? Seriously, where? Oh, it's like way forward, but it looks like it's right by me. I suppose it's just on the compass. I like how people have actually got up there to put messages on those things. 
shows the ridiculousness of the uh, Elden Ring community. Oh, big hammer. Nope, bad time to heal. Bad time to heal. those things last forever? Oh, man. That is nonsense. like it's doable now. <laughs> nope. Not if I mess up like that. Yes. Please let that be it. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, cool. welcome in, dude. Thanks for the GGs. Strefty, thank you. Uh, so whoever had three attempts, so two through five, uh, you're getting some channel points. Channel points for you. Uh, let's round out that prediction. Uh, 11 plus, sorry, Strupty. That one is tough. That is a tough one. So I'm guessing that teleports us back out of here, but uh, I'm willing to uh, see where it goes. Oh, Roxy. Puppy dog. Did you steal Lucy's bed and her toy? <laughs> oh, this goes back to the capital. I did talk about coming back here. Interesting, okay. Was this an area I've been to before, or maybe not? Maybe this was my path forward. I need to go spend these uh, these runes, though. I should have done that at the uh, side of grace. How are you doing, dude? How are you doing? Are you ready for rebirth? We are just a month and one week away. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited for that game. And we are sipping on the Honey Bee Porter from Crazy Peak Brewing. And uh, it's really tasty. There's another boss in that area. I can always go back, Strifty. Um, 
Oh, there's a side of grace right here. Yeah, let's just do that and we can go back. Because I kind of like want to round out that area before I get any further here. But this is new stuff here too. Uh, item that allows me to do the other stuff in the previous area. Because if I don't have it, then uh, I can uh, do some royal capital stuff. That was also on my list of things to do this stream, too, so. What's going on? What was that alert? Oh, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, Tony Vus uh, Presente. Uh, please let me know if I uh, butchered your name, but welcome in. Welcome in. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully uh, you had a great weekend. Hopefully your week is off to a wonderful start. My name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. And it's uh, it's going pretty well. Other than the death count being uh, up near 600, uh, we're doing pretty good. Tony is good for uh, a nickname. I, I appreciate you letting me know. <laughs> uh, welcome on in. Uh, how do you find your way here? Uh, do you like uh, the Souls likes? Uh, did I pop up on recommends? Uh, feel free to let me know if you feel comfortable. Welcome in. Yeah, where are we at for deaths? I think I'm 580 times I've died in this game. Now. Hey, Hugh, welcome in, dude. Hopefully your Monday's off to a great start. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, this is outside the capital. I've been through here. Okay, so I've gotten that one before then. Yeah, this isn't new. Ah, but it's a different way into the capital, though, if you uh, didn't want to fight the uh, draconian um, tree sentinel. Okay. I know where I'm at now. I know where I'm at now. What I should do is bump up my runes so I can uh, get another level. Pretty even on vigor and in endurance, so we're probably going to bump up the uh, vigor at the next level up here. Not what I wanted. There we go. Here we go. So cold here, but it's winter. Can't do much about it. Monday is good. Hey, I'm doing well. Doing well. Weekend uh, treated me well. Uh, week is off to uh, a good start. Monday was a Monday. <laughs> it was just uh, kind of one of those uh, one of those days at work, you know, if uh, you know what I mean. But overall, not too bad. Not too bad. I can't complain. Yeah, Mondays tend to do that. But uh, we're above zero um, Fahrenheit. Or, yeah, above zero Fahrenheit. And it, it feels pretty good. Uh, you know what? I, I got to get up to level 30. <laughs> I know I said Vigor, but uh, that 29 was going to bug me. Uh, from Soft Enjoyer, I've seen your uh, live, so I'm here. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, I've been enjoying these games a lot. Uh, Tony, I started with Demon Souls Remake in January of 22, and I played through that, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and I also did a Soul Level 1 run for my second playthrough of Dark Souls 1, and I played through Bloodborne, and now we're here with Elden Ring. I have yet to do uh, Sekiro, but uh, it, it's on the list to do eventually. How much? Uh, I think I've done all the Ronnie stuff. Um... Uh, any clue the last thing you did for her or Blythe? So the last thing I did was go down to um, uh, Nakron. Uh, I just uh, got there today, actually. Uh, the roots. Yeah, we did on the Soul Level 1 run of Dark Souls 1, we did it guided by uh, chat GPT. So if I wanted to change my armor or anything, I had to ask uh, that. And... Um, 
and so on and so forth. So it was kind of a, uh, it's ER bosses, Strepti. ER bosses, and it should give you a link to uh, the bosses I've done in Elden Ring so far. And I did update that earlier today before stream. <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> is for me say harder but it's incredible i've heard good things I've heard good things 20 above here it was like 21 above when i walked to work this morning in not much wind and boy does that make a difference <laughs> it makes a huge difference yeah tony danza no isn't angela actually the boss um hobo Um, I really enjoyed Bloodborne. I think uh, for me, lore-wise, if you if you want to go with lore and uh, the aesthetic and the setting, I would say Bloodborne uh, would be probably my favorite. Um, but man, there's something I like about each of them. There's something I like about each one of these games. And uh, man, Dark Souls 2 gets a lot of hate, uh, and I enjoyed it. Uh, it had its quirkiness. It had some charm and like the uh, it being the black sheep of the uh, the Dark Souls family. But I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of weapon variety, a ton of bosses, um, some of the best DLC lore out there. It's really good. Yeah, but the art of Bloodborne is just something else. I agree. Uh, so Strufty, so you're determining if I have this item, right? And I also need to do this uh, extra contract out here. This guy. I need to get there. It looks like there's two map spots out here. Oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> Ooh, that was, uh, that was close. That was close. We almost, uh, almost took ourselves out there. It's not that bad. I was in uh Oh, yep. Yeah, a lot of these games, like, uh, I, you know, I think because I had more from software in the catalog to look forward to, I didn't have, like, that post-game uh, from software kind of funk, you know, where, like, and it's just like any big game that I played, and you just, like, you finish the game, you just don't know quite where to go, like, game-wise afterward, or... You know, it was so impactful on you that you just kind of were in that, you know, post-game funk. And uh, when I finish uh, Elden Ring, I think I'm going to be in a bit of that. Where I'm like, man, I don't have this big thing to build toward uh, like I've had for like the last year, <laughs> pretty much two years. So it, it's been a it's been a joyride. It's been a lot of fun. Jump over there. Ooh, nice. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. Okay, I took that thing out. Last time. Just keeping an eye on the puppy dogs. I think uh, it's close to their their time to do some business in the outdoors. Trying to be very careful how I uh, say that. And Tony, if you haven't met my puppy dogs yet, uh, on the left is Roxy. She's a 14-year-old Jack Russell. Uh, on the right, just barely off camera, is Lucy. She's a five-year-old Shih Tzu. And uh, there's her likeness in the emotes. And our little boy, Charlie, who is uh, currently on a bit of vacation with my partner. Um... Uh, there he is in his emote glory. And all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. You can expect a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible puns. I'm just warning you about that now. 
Oh man, uh, I saw all the pictures from uh, quite a few people that went to the uh, the symphonic experience uh, for Elden Ring in in Paris, and I am very jealous. <laughs> I am very jealous. Um, I've been to uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra and the uh, uh, Distant Worlds 35th Anniversary for Final Fantasy, and those were both amazing experiences. So, highly encourage people if you're really into orchestra and uh, in games music, uh, definitely check some of those types of shows out if you ever get the opportunity. It's just uh, it's life changing, honestly. And yeah, Roxy is our sus girl. <laughs> uh, that one was uh, when I took that picture of her for that sus emote. Is uh, she was kind of on her side, and I was just rubbing her belly, and then I stopped, and she gave me that look. <laughs> like, dude, it's sus that you stopped rubbing belly. It's very sus. I need to explore this area more. I could deal without that, though. There we go. Oh. Exactly. I listen to video games music so much in my daily life that I swear my personal listening has just become a, a mix of uh, orchestral game music and metal. Um, and then, like I uh, DJ weddings as a as a side thing. Um, not that it um, changes the importance of the events, but it's just the uh, it's just like a part time thing for me. And so, like, I play other kinds of music and I get my fulfillment of those genres in that way. So, like, my personal listening it has to be something way different. But I think you might. Okay. Do you want to take a look at my items here, Shrefty? Is it in my key items? I have a Great Rune of the Unborn, Radon's Great Rune. Just movies and video game scores, yep. <laughs> and it's just like people like John Williams and Hans Zimmer and, uh, and so many great composers uh, and Nobu Yamatsu. Just so many good ones. So many good ones. Teleport back to where you can find another Grace. Uh, you'll find out. Okay. All right, let's do that. Let's do that so I'm not spending too much time being lost in the, in the old capital. Deep root. Um, oh, I never talked to the finger reader here either. Let's do that. I kind of just bypassed. Uh... Oh, Lord Godwin. Are you okay, Lucy? Such humiliation. Oh, my poor sweet lordling should have died a true death. As the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why? Must it yet bring such disgrace? Okay, so Godwin was the first to die. Sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? Oh, 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 oh. oh my poor Okay. Um, I mean, John Williams did so many good things like Star Wars. He did, uh, like Indiana Jones. Um, gosh, what was the other one that was just sticking out in my brain? Oh, there was another one that was just there. Now it's gone. But John Williams, uh, 
such good music. You're the one. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Tony. <laughs> hey, Crunchy, good to see you. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your dinner. And if you uh, if you feel like making us proper jealous, um, feel free to do that, too. Because uh, if people talk about food, I, I want them to make us proper jealous if they feel comfortable. So, But enjoy your lurk. It is good to see you. Hopefully you were enjoying some Elden Ring today. And I know you're on a first playthrough as well. So if you're dodging some spoilers, I totally understand. Big cheers. Big cheers. Let me give Crunchy a shout out. Crunchy is a very, uh, very welcoming and friendly streamer, so definitely go say hello next time they're live. Not eating like a monster, Hegel. You are a good lad. Uh, I have been eating kind of like a monster so far this year, and I need to fix that. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Jaws, E.T., Schindler's List. Yeah, I know there's like so many other ones, uh, but the Star Wars and Indiana Jones were the first two to come to mind. I'm just going to go take a peek over here. This boss arena is heckin' huge. And I like the misdirection, right? Like, they make it feel like you're going to fight that thing. And then it's just uh, those champion dudes. Oh, can we jump to that from here? Doubtful. Doubtful. Oh, that would be sweet. Uh, regret. Like, if you could just hop on torrent and just, like, launch over to that thing that would be so awesome <laughs> yeah, he did kind of score a lot of our childhoods you were right now, I need to watch E.T. again. It has been forever and a day since I've watched that movie. I definitely need to watch that again. Using torrent on on some tight uh, platforming is feels perilous. We may yet make it through. Hey mom, good to see you. Can we get some hearts and chat for my mom, please? The woolly mammoth. It is good to see you. Welcome on in. Big cheers. We are sipping on the honey bee porter from Crazy Peak Brewing tonight. Cheers to you. NPC present in the boss area. Let's uh, let's go back and check. Let's go back and check script. Let's go back there. Having a good evening tonight. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, hopefully everyone present is doing well. Uh, you made me proper jealous. I gotta say, my, my sister had... Uh, uh, a butcher uh, make them some fresh bacon and ham and stuff from a, a pig they had. And uh, I had the uh, the pleasure of having some of that bacon before I left um, from visiting. And my goodness, um, so good. And so when I, when I talked to my mom earlier tonight and they were making uh, a BLTs with that, <laughs> proper jealous. I mean, it's just huge slices of bacon Jurassic Park game and I yep just for the music have you played the uh 
like the world building, like the zoo building, if you will. Uh, games, the Jurassic Park ones, uh, Tony. I think it's like evolution and such. Um, I'm not seeing an NPC, Shrifty. Maybe they're in the middle? Kind of gone around the edges, but... Okay. So, back to the capital then, for the time being then, possibly. I mean, I don't know what this is over here, if it is anything. Yeah, not quite anything. Do it before the final boss. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Let's go back to the capital. And as far as what I talked to Wimpy about, he said I needed to do a little bit more of exploration. Uh, kind of been through the catacombs. I need something up. Uh... Oh, I haven't done this hero's grave, I don't think. Or maybe I did. Oh, yeah, I did do that. No, wait. Uh, hmm. See, my memory is uh, betraying me. Let's go down here. And this might be a good opportunity to take a break. I know these puppy dogs need some uh, time in the outdoors. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, everybody, make sure you grab yourselves a refill, grab yourselves a snack, and we'll be back here in uh, roughly five, 10 minutes. So big cheers, everybody. See you real soon. And there will be an ad break running here. Um, so our new friends that join uh, won't be getting any uh, pre-rolls. So just know that there won't be any uh, further gameplay until I'm back from break. So uh, the ad, ad run will go during that time frame, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Big cheers. Nope, nope, shoot. Yes, 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 yes. 100 times, a million times. As many times as I can say yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, let's go! <laughs> Get wrecked, Halloween.
Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Whitworth. <laughs> well, I'm going there, AJ. <laughs> DJ wife. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you got yourselves a little bit of a break, a refill, some snacks. This is a reminder to stay hydrated. It's easy to dry out this time of year. So stay hydrated. Also, uh, I just want to thank people uh, for some generosity earlier, including uh, the bits from uh, Panda and the raid from Melly the Belly. Thank you both for being so generous. And also, I did catch up on your message there uh, that I missed earlier, Tony, if you're still hanging about. <laughs> the uh, John Williams. Now, I'll watch your career with great interest. Uh, very solid uh, uh, episode one reference. Yeah, I know Star Wars just a little bit. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all. I need to explore this area some more, but I just, uh, if you hear some squeaks, Lucy's going crazy on her chew toy, so wondering what that is. Man, that moveset on this uh, sword is OP. But I do realize I'm kind of hitting the top end of where this sword can go, so might have to start building around another weapon soon. Might have to do that. I need my. Lantern back.
Hey, Lucy, can you make it speak? Can you give it a squeak? Can you make it speak? Give it a squeak. <laughs> nope. She's going to rest her head on it until like the moment I turn the camera off and then it's going to be right back to Chew Toy Town. I bet you anything. I think there was, yeah, there was a ladder over here. Can't ring the bell. I wish. Oh yeah. Okay. I know where this is at now. All right. Go back upstairs. Oh, I uh. Completely forgot where this uh, ended back up at. <laughs> Keep forgetting to use this flask. I had gone all the way up here. I took care of that uh, tree avatar down there. I could go any further this way. See, cope, yeah. Let's see here. So there's got to be a way. I feel like I'm missing some stuff here. Up here is very dangerous, though. At least I get rid of Big Boy up here. Yeah, I think it's this spot. I never made it past. There's got to be something around here that I'm just missing. He likes that guard counter big time. He also likes his traveling troop. Lightning urn tossers. You know, that's not a bad band name. The lightning urn tossers.
I like that even though you, uh, if you run out of FP, you can still use that, uh, that moveset. Get out of there. Get out of there, Wooly. Ouch. Hey, Gouchy. Oh, outside of the uh, lightning range. Didn't know I could do that. doing over here? What are they doing? Okay. Yeah, it looks like I can go up there somehow. So I need to I need to work that out. Can't ride my trusty steed. Lucky there. I'll take it though. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Okay. Death sound is just uh, gruesome. Okay, not that way. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of retracing steps to try to figure out what's going on. was before the holidays when I was at the old uh, the old capital here. Cuz I went the one way where there was that crucible night and then there were some of the uh, the Lionel guys and that spot was closed off. I needed something from there was some type of seal over there that I couldn't get past. There's an item on there. How do I get there from here?
<laughs> it looks like somebody was doing some uh, very uh, creative platforming over there. On that way. Let's go back down this way. There's a door back over this way. Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh. Messed that dodge up big time. to a side of grace here. That's A-OK. -okay. All right. What are we gonna do? Uh, definitely go to... Is it the balcony? What is the balcony? Yeah. So I think we need to try to get over this way. At least I think so. I think this way is the way that was blocked. Yeah, this way is blocked. So there's got to be something this way. Maybe there's a way out of the catacombs that gets us forward. Catacombs are so gross. So anybody else that's played this game, did you spend hours upon hours trying to find your way uh, through and out of the, the capital? And you don't have to answer yes. You can say, nah, I got it just fine. You don't have to make me feel good about myself. Okay. These guys still hit like big jerks.
Okay, that's a good time to hit him. Big jump. Big jump. Big jump. No. <laughs> Flask. Nice. Oh, almost got him. <laughs> kind of wanted just to beat one of these, just to say I had. That's what you get when you mess with the rock lobster. B-52 has warned us. But I did not heed their call. Hey, that's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. AJ, thank you for the raid, dude. Welcome on in, raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. And I'm getting my... Uh... <laughs> I'm getting my butt kicked by a lobster. <laughs> Joe and Tay, thank you for the resub at 16 months. And AJ, thank you for the raid, dude. Uh, welcome on in, everybody. Uh, Game Dole, welcome in. Also, uh, who else do we have? Uh, Ghost? <laughs> uh, fool of a what? Of a toque? Fool of a toque. Welcome in. <laughs> uh, let me give you... A, oh, it looks like Hobo Baggins is right on top of it. Uh, and did I get my death count in there? I did. I did. Okay. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. How are you doing? AJ, how was your stream? You were playing some Fallout. How was, uh, how was that going for you? Also, Joe and Tay, thank you for the resub at 16 months. My goodness. That's crazy. Big cheers, everybody. Welcome on in. <laughs> and if you haven't met my puppy dogs before, Raiders, um, Roxy's a Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy is a Shih Tzu in the foreground. She's five and currently still on vacation is our little boy, Charlie. He's hanging out with DJ wife for uh, a little bit longer while they visit family for a bit more and they'll be back uh, this weekend. So uh, it was a Lord of the Rings reference for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> you were all supposed to quote Lord of the Rings. Well, I appreciate that you did it, uh, Joan Tang. Uh, but all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. They tolerate some mediocre gameplay and some terrible, terrible puns in between puppy sightings. So thank you again very much for the raid. 
it was good other than not knowing how bags work in the game for like an hour. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But uh, if you need to take care of post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, some food, a break from the screens, uh, definitely take care of those post-stream self-care needs, AJ. I appreciate your raid, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Hearts for AJ and also hearts for Joe and Tay's Let's Plays for the resub. You all are just beautiful. And if you have uh, uh, preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, uh, feel free to share those in chat as well. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, doing well tonight. Um, we got a couple bosses down already, uh, but I'm just trying to find my way through things. So I'm feeling <laughs> just a bit lost. Crying myself to sleep because I can't recognize the Lord of the Rings quote. It's all right, AJ. Have you... Uh, oh, let me back it up. Have you watched any of the Lord of the Rings movies at all, AJ? At all. Because if you haven't, uh, I'm willing to rewatch them again. If it means uh, making sure you're no longer an, an uncultured person. Nope, that's not supposed to happen. You have seen them? Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. good gravy now i just really want to beat one of these now i just have it i know some quotes but not all maddie cheered some bits and felt terrible because i couldn't recognize it uh so was it the fool of a toque one or uh is it a different quote uh let me know which one it is if if you know you feel comfortable doing so that is a rewatch is never a bad idea uh what's that from Yeah, two Towers, I think, is probably the one I've actually seen the most. Um, I don't know if Wooly Mammoth is still hanging about in chat. But when I was a ye old poor college student, my mom would uh, send me DVDs um, to watch. This was prior to Netflix being a thing. And one of the ones she sent me was uh, The Two Towers. And at the time, I didn't own the... Uh, the rest of the trilogy and so i watched a ton of two towers like probably way more than somebody should have watched two towers without watching the rest of the trilogy <laughs> but man uh the battle of helms deep just iconic oh writers of rohirrim uh, like on the fifth day, um, look to the east. Or, it, but if it was like a Riders of Rohirrim thing, that's uh, that's Return of the King territory. If it's like the last ride of the Rohirrim. Like, I've already done the catacombs part. No. Stop it with your... pincers. Nope. There's another death. Closing in on 600 here. Oh. Yep. Let me see if I can remember this, because I just re uh, DJ wife and I just rewatched these uh, right before uh, the holidays. We watch them annually at uh, at Thanksgiving. Now for wrath, now for ruin, and the red dawn. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Love that.
love those movies. Absolutely love them. Hey, Zen, welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> kicked by the rock lobster here. Ow! 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 he's going to do that. Oh, what a jerk. Here, another one. Nope. Nope. This is not good. <laughs> I hate these ones so badly. He just needs to do his jump thing. He hasn't done his jump in a while. Yes, finally. <laughs> well, there's uh, one lobster. That was hardly worth it. Uh, Zen, let me give you a proper shout out, dude. How has uh, DJ Hero Bloodborne been going? Um, how has Liza P been treating you? Uh, where did you get uh, on your stream the other day uh, when you were playing uh, DJ Bloodborne? You, I know you got uh, shadows down. Did you get any other big bosses down? Yeah, that was a fun one to watch. Uh, shadows is always tough. You know what I should do? Instead of being this stupid. I mean, this is a lot of runes to just, uh, you know, not do anything. Oh, Amygdala got the best of you. No. No. Or Amygdala, depending on how you pronounce it. Amygdala, Amygdala. Same thing, just pain. <laughs> um, I will say, I feel... I felt pretty good about that boss because uh, I got it first try on my first playthrough, but I could understand with alternative controllers it would be pretty rough. Hey, Prince Leo, welcome in, dude. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing post uh, Final Fantasy 16? I'm not quite there yet, but I'm, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. How are you doing, dude? Happy Monday. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Same goes to Zen and all of our raiders, too. Hopefully you're taking care of yourselves. It's a time of year where it's easy for us to get uh, get sick. Please, please. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all I've done is make sure that I have more runes in my inventory. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this is the right way to go. Unless somebody else has been through here before and they know, you know what, this is the way to go. Um, I don't know if this is the way. And that is a right shame that those dudes uh, can 
respawn. Yeah, because of stuff like that. Oh, this is going to be awful. If I drop all these runes back here. Nope. This is bad news. This is bad news bears right here. We'll say I enjoyed the journey. I'm looking very, very forward to... Uh, making some more progress this week. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll get uh, to the end of that game before before Rebirth comes out, but we're definitely going to do that that Friday that Rebirth is out. We're going to we're going to stream uh, Final Fantasy 7 uh, Rebirth, but uh, hopefully we can get there or at least close to there. Uh, I got, I'm near the end of uh, getting the parts that Mid needs for a certain vessel. Is kind of the most spoiler free way I can put where I'm at in the game, Prince Leo. Um, at least for those that haven't played yet. Let's see, maybe not catacombs. Maybe we need to go to Underground Roadside, maybe. Um, they're very tarnished. Uh, <laughs> wobble. Welcome in. Good to see you. I'm going to try. Um, I did get the physical copy, so we'll see if it actually arrives in the post that day. If it does arrive in the post, uh, then I'll be playing it on release day. If not, then I'll be playing it uh, the next day for sure. You like my character's hat? Uh, it's the Crucible Knight set, and it is amazing. <laughs> like the tree antlers and everything. It's pretty nice. Cannot open. Okay, so there's more that I haven't explored down here. Okay, I've done this way before. Oh, I don't know if I've been through up there. Waffle Pop, how are you doing, dude? Good to see you, along with Prince Leo and all of our, all of our fine friends. Uh, Festive Tomato, it is ER Bosses, uh, if you're looking to see who I've got so far. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Had a great weekend. Um, had a potato of a day on Saturday. And was a bit productive yesterday. And this is happening today. <laughs> yep. Uh, I need to update the uh, emote that's in that uh, command there. Potatoes are good. Uh, I didn't eat any potatoes on Saturday, but I was a human potato. <laughs> uh, I'll be playing it later because it comes out the same weekend as Distant Worlds. Oh, that's right. It's going to be such an awesome time for you, Prince Leo. Uh, I hope you really do enjoy it because... Uh after every time I've been, I've been to uh, distant worlds, I just I just want to go back. Ooh, nice! Got some new stuff. Uh, yeah, the difficulty spike is crazy. Uh, it's, yeah, the Final Fantasy Orchestra. Yep. Yep. 
spot on their uh, uh, bobble pop. Uh, they do have a show called The New World, and I think it's like a little bit more of a pared down orchestra. And uh, I do plan on going to uh, a performance of that in uh, in May. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, no. Oh. There goes all of those runes. That is most unfortunate. Most, most unfortunate. <laughs> all right. Now we have nothing to lose, so we don't need to go back down there. <laughs> GG, thank you. It does feel like that, doesn't it? Maybe I didn't go this way before. Oh yeah, there's still a lot of area I haven't touched down here. Okay. I see you, Elden Ring. go for balcony seats or did you get lower area um uh, prince leo uh and like i had said in our our discussion too like either way you're gonna be happy uh because i've i've sat in both both areas uh the two times i've been to final fantasy orchestra shows and uh been happy both times because at orchestra shows the uh the sound production is just so well done that it's uh, tough to have a bad spot in the house. I mean, truthfully. Oh, no. We're getting some poison build up here. Oh, no. That's bad. I think we have something for that. Neutralizing uh, boluses. Probably could just use ranged weapons, but uh, dude, chill it with the spores. This isn't the last of us. <laughs> Good gravy. Come on now. Maybe it's worth it just to tank the poison. Oh, not that though. That is bad news. That one's got a little more, a little more punch going. Oh, 
wow. Okay. He's a mean one. Very time consuming, that one. Spores and in mushrooms. Very much not a fun guy. There we go. That's what I was trying for. <laughs> Get rid of that poison. Perfect. So where does this go? Where does this go? Wobble Pop, you were streaming earlier tonight. What were you playing? What were you playing tonight? I could have swore you were on my auto shout out, or are you not on there? For shame. I need to update that big time. Big time. What were you playing? Ooh, Disco Elysium. I know uh, AJ had a good time with that one. Heard really good things. Uh, this feels like a trap. Yep. Undoubtedly, it is. This is uh, Legend of Zelda uh, wall master, floor master territory here. Oh, yep. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. Big trap. Big trap. <laughs> a couple hours in. I've heard really good things. So I hope you have a really good time with it. Oh, sewer jail key. Nice. Let me out. Let me out of here. Must eat more. Defile more. Um. Everything that matters to you. For generations to come. I am the Dung Eater. A scourge upon the living. Who are you? Um, I'm going to say leave your jail. I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. And just to be sure that when they're reborn, They'll be cursed, along with their children, and their children's children. I kind of want to kill this guy. For all time to come. Um, quick question for those that are familiar with the series. Am I going to lock myself out of any quest lines if I murder this guy? Get played, all three hosts had in their top ten games of all time list. That's pretty impressive. I oh, will kill again. Just to be hell be good. Because this guy does not throw off some good vibes. <laughs> I'd be willing to, uh, you know, help him shuffle the mortal coil, so to speak. He has a quest line. All right. I'll let the dung eater be for now. But you're on thin ice, mister. Okay? Oh, typical spam messages. You 
hear that, Mr. Dung Eater? Thin ice. Stop it. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> the lock on really did a number to me there. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> Got nervous. These creatures seem quite wonderful. something here and like I get so lost in this game like there's just so much to explore that it doesn't feel like I've been playing for almost three hours already oh. yeah let's just knock it off with the lock on here You finished DS2. Nice, dude. So you did the uh, the rest of the DLC. Um, the, was that the Burnt Ivory King? What did what did you think of that uh, that boss? And uh, did you do the optional of that area? That's all I'm gonna say. You did the optional. You got a first try? Dude, that's impressive. Uh, that's a tough one. It is a fun one, though. It is a very fun one. Uh, very iconic. The, uh, the drop into that battle is just... Uh, <laughs> just amazing. Uh, yeah, the outskirts can burn. Um, in whatever deepest, darkest, coldest... Um, circle of hell uh the frozen outskirts can uh can definitely reside there oh yeah same here uh man you're gonna enjoy dark lurker did you do uh you did the uh the rest of the main game too i take it Yeah, I would say after after doing the DLCs, 
the uh, the main game can feel a bit underwhelming <laughs> in terms of final bosses. Yeah, you know what? Heck with that. drop again all the bosses at the end very nice dude good work can we get some ggs for aj so you've done all bosses just with the exception of uh dark lurker then huh? uh dark lurker is a pain Big pain. Oh. Oh, jeez. Dude. Say it, don't spray it, okay? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> oh, that was a close call. Uh, I think you'll do all right. Uh, with how high leveled you are. Oh no, there's another one of those dudes. I think you'll do all right. I did okay with melee build. I was a big strong boy. Um, build when I played. And I enjoyed it. It was tough, but uh, ooh, we can level up our sword now. I feel like I want to go up there. But I also don't want to go up there. <laughs> oh, I think that's our uh, door out to the main hallway. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, we're in good shape. We're in good shape here now. Yeah, let's go back here. And uh, actually, we can go upgrade our uh, swords. Let's do that. Let's go do that. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm a big fan of this. Um, and I know I can go to the round table hold, but man, EG is just so awesome. I love EG. Best blacksmith in Elden Ring. At least... Uh, out of the ones I know so far. <laughs> oh, there you are. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's Rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor and, moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. Oh yeah. Strengthen. Plus eight. Oh my lord, yeah. That's a big boost. That is a hefty boost. Something else? My 
purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long... Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Nice. I love EG. EG is awesome. Okay. So that was the subterranean... And I feel like uh, streaming it, I've kind of lost some of uh, some of that. You know, oh, I forgot I'm not two-handing. damage <laughs> yep it's just so easy to get lost in just how beautiful everything is and the exploration and want to end up down here. started to get some runes again. down there too. What a shame. Alright. <laughs> uh, okay. Note to self, don't fall down there. I do want whatever item those two are guarding. Because you know it's got to be good. They stuck two of these oafs in front of it. Got to be good. It's got to be good. Wasn't pretty.
Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect the third one. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. And for those that have custom sounds, I am working on a uh, a whisper menu for you. So if you forget which sounds you have, uh, there will be a, just a, a command for you that you can look it up. Um, there is a like a limited number of whispers that can be sent per day on Twitch, and so it'll be kind of like a uh, limited to once per stream, but uh, then you can always kind of look back at your whispers. Uh, so that's kind of the uh, thing I'm working on. I still have a little bit of fine tuning to do with that. behind at work <laughs> no worries dude please take care can we get some hearts in chat for strufty um it's just been wonderful news hearing about your progress too dude so uh excited that you're you're getting back to uh your normal self so to speak and uh hope to see you real soon man have a wonderful night please take care of yourself and don't overdo it <laughs> don't overdo it I know the tendency can can be that way uh, and getting uh, back into the old fitness thing. So listen to your body. Mm, that looks like that. Maybe that's all we can do here. Just that little bit. Yeah, there's got to be more to it than that. Uh, yeah. There appears to be more to it than that. Ah, place to drop. Good luck with work, dude. Always good to see you, Strefty. Always good to see you. String. That's pretty nice. Okay, so there was much more to this area than I had explored. <laughs> okay. plant was waiting for me. This feels like a trap. Yeah. Actually not a trap. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to go this way first. Oh. Oh, no. Not a fan of that. Oh, no, 
no, no. Ah. Oh. I've been slighted. I've been blighted. Ugh. Silly, silly, silly. <laughs> you find my death amusing, Roxy. You find it amusing. <laughs> I guess so. I guess she does. these guys we we want those runes because it's like pretty close to level up territory so definitely want that This area is not too bad. Just when you get to the basilisks that it's uh, completely awful. All right. You gotta. Gotta grab that next level. Oof. That is super duper close too. Okay, one down. At least it's not two. Or maybe there's another one up there in the distance. Shortcut, maybe? Doesn't open from that side. Perfect.
Bowman Baron. Apple White Cured Meat. Golden Centipede. Ooh, I'm getting some good stuff here. Oh, this is a shortcut. It's across the way from our uh, side of grace, which is great because uh, we can level up. This is very welcomed. <laughs> this is nice. Okay. All right. Let's level up. Let's go bigger, I think. So I think with decks, we're kind of reaching a bit of a cap area, I think. Um, uh, yeah, let's give a little more vigor. We're only three away from, uh, room level 100, which I think we're going to be in a good spot to, uh, try that one dragon at the Altus Plateau. Part of me wants to just uh, Leroy Jenkins this thing. <laughs> that worked. It was good smithing stone seven, I think. It's worth it. Very well worth that. Oh, we just turned the light off. May it be a light when all other lights go out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the heck with that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that death blight is so nasty. Probably one of the more horrifying ways to die in this game. Like, it seriously just makes me feel very uneasy. That is a very, very uh, creepy thing. To uh, suddenly succumb to something that basically makes you die from becoming a tree. Oh, that's new. Or at least he wasn't here last time. Yeah, I have not been around this upper sewer path here. Like I could drop down there. Jeez. 
Jeez. A lot of missed shots on both sides. <laughs> Real comedy of errors. Going on. Yep. Big time trap. Big time. Oh, wait. Have I been here? Yeah, I have been here. Okay. Interesting. And this place really is a maze. worth it. No, I don't want to emote. Stop it. <laughs> no time for dancing. This place is pretty, pretty gross, though. I mean, a sewer is not a place to be wandering around in unless you have to anyway, but... Uh... one is quite gross. Eye of something. Yella. There's an eye of yella. Shrub fruit bursting with ripened pulp, uh, material used for crafting, grown in lands afflicted by frenzy, used for its pain relieving properties, though it's also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. <laughs> well then. Sounds tasty. So this is the way we go. A good crafting items here too. Oh, I think I know where I'm at. near the beginning area. Okay, just when I think I've found a new way to go, things have looped back on themselves yet again. 
So let's go back this way. Tell the tale of another day. Supposedly. Near constant risk of falling is uh, unnerving. <laughs> uh, very unnerving, to say the least. Um, let's jump up over here. This guy is waiting for us. Basilisk area was. this way for that. Uh, some of my least favorites so far, Hegel. Um, those and the Basilisks. Because there's just so many in that one area. I wonder if I can hit them with some, uh, some waves of this. Might be nice. Close to the uh, the old thing. It would be cool to break through this little bit and get some uh, get some new territory. I think we're knocking at the door. I'm 
single handing again. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Dude, it's full of barnacles, too. Full of big barnacles. Oh, no. There we go. his friends actually I don't think it matters so we drop off here down this way guys um the sewers basically the subterranean smithing area of the uh the royal capital uh gg Lock on to these stinking basilisks. Nope, that's not enough either. Uh, do we have any projectiles? Danger man. <laughs> what? Danger, Danger zone. zone. Welcome on in, Danger May. How are you doing? This is the Danger Zone. <laughs> doing how was uh your last rounds of lethal company hopefully hopefully well what a wonderful fun game <laughs> just getting done with work very nice gg thanks for checking on the puppies uh, let's see here These things are immune to poison. Oh, they're not. Very nice. Nope. Just don't get death blighted. Don't care if I'm poisoned. Times of stress, puppy. It, it's a good strat. Solid strat, GG. Uh, it's paid off many a times uh, in the past, to be honest. It has paid off. 
Uh, but that time, well, not that time. Tell me I could just run past him the entire time for shame. <laughs> and they are pretty tired. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see how she was hanging out on the dog bed. <laughs> and Lucy's just snoring uh, over in the corner. Just barely outside of camera. She's been very elusive tonight. The old Lucy girl. The old elusive Lucy. Cheap. Quite cheap. Uh, so part of me just wants to uh, up down here. Past. I know there's another one down here, but I don't know where to go. I don't know if there is anywhere to go right there. Maybe that is dead end territory. I mean, I met my deadly end there, yes, but... Uh... Whether it's a dead end is the other question. Nope. Okay, all those runes. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for trying to do things different. That's what I get. In the arms of the, the baggins. Take me to the Shire from here. I do want to go drink at the Green Dragon, though. That does sound really nice. Or the Prancing Pony would be really cool, too. We could hit it up on the way to the Shire, right? Prancing Pony, it, uh, you know, they serve it in pints. It's very important. Okay, does anything prevent death blight? Um... Okay, that prevents the buildup, or alleviates buildup. Hmm. Ooh. That sounds kind of nice. Give that a go, huh? Mm. 
maybe we don't even need to be down there for it. Sound is kind of horrifying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Nope. All out. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it through. I don't care if we get poisoned. That, that's not a big deal. It's surviving the death blight is the big deal. <laughs> we can tank the poison. We just have one more out in that other hallway, though. There we go. Let's let this death blight just go all the way away before we uh, try this other guy. All right. will overcome. <laughs> Thank you for the GG's. Is there really anywhere to go from here, though? Maybe it was just for the items. the items we found along the way. Ooh. All right, I know there's got to be something else I'm not quite getting here. Oh yeah, there were tons of basilisks this way. Next gave us that one shortcut. Actually, I think that's our only way forward. Unfortunately. Dogs have been taken out. It's my time to hit the hay. Dude, have a great rest of your night. Have a good, uh, good sleepy sleeps, AJ. And uh, thanks again for the raid, my friend. Get some hearts in chat for AJ. Please take care of yourself. And uh, hope to see you real soon. And good luck with Fallout next time you play. And uh, GG's on finishing the main game and the DLCs of, uh, of Dark Souls 2. Uh, the Frigid Outskirts is a huge accomplishment. Uh, and you deserve the praise. So, <laughs> enjoy it, dude. Bask in the glory of that sun. Please take care. All right, so that's where that dude's at. But there is something on the other side of this grating, and I don't know how to get there. Uh, lift ahead. Okay, so I need through here. I wonder if I need to drop down to that pipe to get over here, to that thing. I don't want to fight this guy again. Seems like it's going to be a necessity.
Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thanks again for the raid, AJ, dude. Let's give you another shout out. Uh, seriously, if you're looking for another content creator who likes playing some Souls games, likes to uh, chill out with their community, uh, AJ also really likes to start his streams with uh, Game Dull and some other kind of fun ways to interact with this chat. So if you're down with some uh, some good time to hang out before you get into games, uh, AJ's uh, a cool dude and you should go say hello. Ooh, I haven't been that way. Maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I was talking to the imp uh, thing. Oh. And Jermaine, you were told about a new game. Can't wait to download. It's called Folklore Hunter. Hunter, world renowned for slaying supernatural beasts, take on contracts, and track down uh, cryptids from all over the world. Gather resources, set traps, prepare your equipment, use your hunter instincts, and hunt down the beast before it hunts you. Ooh, that does sound fun. The way that reads, though, too, just sounds so much like supernatural. Uh, absolutely love the world out of that show. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to here. I couldn't believe uh, how many seasons that show had. Didn't it have like something like 14 seasons? And man, sometimes there was like a lot of filler, but simultaneously it was kind of nice. Because sometimes the story just got so heavy that you just needed some lighthearted moments. Uh, it's like Supernatural, a game. Yeah. Drop into this? Is there? No, nah, there's no lip right there. Can't do it. drop. Another good drop. There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, Dean and Sam and Bobby. Uh, just love Bobby. knew how to, really knows how to call people an idiot when uh, they're stepping out of line. <laughs> That's what I appreciate about him. Alright, so I'm thinking I need to go down this pipe. But actually find the right way to go. got to be something I missed down here. Okay, I've already been that way for sure. Let's just uh, make sure. Double check. Mainly when I'm driving. Yeah. 
And I think Egypts does uh, stem from the uh, the Irish and Gaelic uh, Egypts, which does stand for idiot. So. Very supportive. Yep. Great character. Okay. A bit of a maze, so we're just going to work our way through here. Ooh, I don't know if I ever went this way, because I don't remember seeing rats down here. Oh yeah, new items, okay. New area. Very good. This is a good sign. Okay. Oh, there's a hole. All right, let's go back the other way real quick. Maybe we can jump over this. Nice. Oh! Yeah, that's Mama Rat. That's Mama Rat. That is frightening. Uh, I don't know if anybody has seen um, Cabinet of Curiosities, but uh, it makes me think of that. And that is frightening. There's no hidden path ahead. You liar. Ooh. Oh, this is the way. Yeah, let's just leave the other ones. This is the way we needed to go. Sweet. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> I'm very, very happy about this. Just depending if I can get through this next little bit without dying. Now that's all of them. <laughs> Good old McRib jars. <laughs> so that's where they've stored all the McRibs. Because, I mean, that's got to be why they have a, uh, a yearly or, like, seasonal release. Is it's not because, you know have to do that but it is because they have to because they made the original batch back in the what was it 70s and they have to release it in slow amounts because otherwise they'd run out nobody knows how to make it they have to do it that way now, this feels very ominous. I'm guessing there's a boss up here. I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do a prediction. If there's a boss, feel free to get rid of some channel points. 
If not, we'll cancel it. But uh, first try, two through five, six to 10 or 11 plus, feel free to get in on that. Oh, let's see what uh, lies in wait. Yep. Mog the Omen. Is it Moog? Ooh, don't like that. that's a lot of blood. You know it'd be cool if you could stop using that fiery blood. That would be real nice. Ooh, good damage. Baited me. Dang. Always got some reach. Good first attempt. <laughs> uh, thanks for the faith there, Melly, though. Thanks for the faith. Um, so what was the name there? Moog? M-O-H-G, I think. There we go. Go again. At least the boss run isn't bad. <laughs> After the absolute labyrinth of uh, that area. At least the boss run isn't too bad. Okay. Am 
greedy. Not greedy. I think we can get this. I think we can get this. <laughs> oh, new girl. Oh, man. What a great show, too. Um, what a great show. I think I need to catch up on that. I think I'm pretty far behind. I will always love the uh, the character Nick in that show. <laughs> Just so likable. <laughs> Just such an underdog of a character. Doing the queen's work there, Danger Man. <laughs> Good work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was just a bad run overall. Rewatched all the uh, seasons about a dozen times, and yes, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> He's so relatable. Oh, there's our 600th uh, death of the playthrough. Very nice. So we are now even with the most amount of deaths on a single first playthrough of any Souls game. Uh, that was my run of Dark Souls 2. Took us 600 deaths. And uh, now we are uh, crossing the threshold. <laughs> crossing that old threshold. I forgot to do the wondrous physic, so that's on me. dive right into that. Why is that? attacks are not good. <laughs> yep, get out of 
other. Like uh, we were doing good early on, and now it's just uh... <laughs> Nick saying, "Stop being so mean, or I'm gonna fall in love." With you. <laughs> you shall not pass! Hogor, it feels like that. It feels like that, like a lot. But also, yes. This boss is, I'm going to threaten it with, uh, you know, it doesn't stop being so mean. I am going to fall in love That was a good run. Good run. We got a lot closer. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I know what I got to do. It's not what I could, and it's not what I should. The thing that I need to do is just the getting of good. starting to realize like some of his attack patterns but man it, like he switches it up so much too that's a tough part and i really 
don't want to lose these 32,000 runes either. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. It's so variable. Like that's a thing on on the bosses of Elden Ring. And in other people that have played this game, please correct me. Please, you know, feel free to disagree. But uh, when it comes to all the other Souls games, I feel like this one is the most approachable uh, in terms of quality, but my gosh, uh, it has got to be the most difficult. The bosses are just so much harder in this one. So much more difficult. All right, let's uh, get the wondrous physic out of the way right away. Um, let's get rid of this other junk. Not to say that torrent is junk, but uh, I don't need to summon torrent down here.
Hammer. You know what I need to do? I need to upgrade my flask. Uh, this this healing is just a uh, not working. So I really can't. Like, I really haven't figured out where to find, you know, the things to upgrade your, your flask in terms of its uh, healing power, the sacred tears. Like, I, I've, I've come across them. I just don't know what they look like on the map. Oh. Good puppy dog. Give me, give me puppy. Calm down. I appreciate that. That stuff I have. It's probably another Ever Jail. What is that? And we'll go again. We'll bash my head through the wall a few more times, I think. Maybe I need to lean into the decks and go uh, quicker weapon. Have any armor that's uh, more uh, immunity at 22, 27, 26. Maybe we go over Dawn set. Better physical protection, too. Maybe we mix and match. Ooh, we can definitely do hydrate. Can definitely do that now. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we got mix match set here. What do we have for this? Max equip load, raise the stamina, stamina recovery speed, those are all really good. <laughs> these are all really good. Yeah, maybe we go with the blood dagger kind of attack here.
plus damage per hit, which is nice. Fun to switch it up though. Nice to switch it up. I wonder what he's weak to. Um, and please don't tell me this is thinking out loud. Here. Um, uh, uh, uh. magic, lots of fire grease, poison. Try magic. Could try that. Uh, let's see why not. It's worth a shot. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes that little switch up is all you need. Yeah, let's take a look at. Uh, what was I going to take a look at? Uh, I already have my equipment. Oh, I was going to take a look at my... Uh, maybe there's something here that might pay off, too. be nice. Nah. Nah. We'll keep what we got. stuck on something. <laughs>
soon. I always do that. I think I'm finding little spots to get some more hits in, which is nice. I think just increasing my flask potency is going to be like something that I'm definitely going to need to focus on in the future. I can try fire. I mean, uh, he kind of has fire as his, his whole shtick, though, but worth a try, I guess. I cared about was the <laughs> the runes at that point. <laughs> Ooh boy. Ooh boy. I don't know how people get through this game uh, on rune level one. I really don't. I don't understand it. Boosting robustness does. <laughs> Maybe do some blood resin. Maybe hopefully get some more blood loss on him because we haven't been able to inflict that yet.
definitely doing less damage. He might be immune to bleed. A second here. Need to blow my nose. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's get rid of the blood grease because we know that definitely does not fit the bill. Are you kidding me? I've had an item, a fetish bathed in gold magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power. Enough to trap the once bound Mog on Earth, if only for a short time. For shame. Wooly, this is why we read item descriptions in Souls games. <laughs> Does that not work now? I need to find out how to make this work for me. <laughs> this is nice.
here we are. That was a good run. That was a good run. Okay, puppy dog. Okay. That's okay. You just calm down. I know I'm exuding nervous energy and it makes you really nervous. I think we're getting it. I think we are getting it. Shame it took so many attempts to learn that. Real, real shame. Okay, I'm guessing it just like lowers with potency as you use it. So we'll see if I actually get two tries out of this one. Maybe.
Oh man, I'm in it now though. You know how like you push past that bit of being just uh, frustrated and tilted and then when you get past that you have some clarity. Uh, you know kind of generally how the moveset's kind of unwinding. Uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let's get it. some bad runs here it's like i know what i need to do at this point it's a tough boss what's even more tough is just putting this game down <laughs> and it's such a big game like this it's tough to just put it down and uh, not play it more than just one night a week. Oh, wait. Where are the runes?
Yes, let's go. <laughs> Woo. Take that, man. Come on. <laughs> I could feel my heart pumping out of my chest. <laughs> Crap Thor, welcome in. Welcome in. Danger May, thanks for the GG's. <laughs> oh man. Just shaky. Just shaky, but I felt in the zone on that last bit, and it just uh it it was it. That is nice. <laughs> that is really nice. Alright. Alright. I kind of feel like this is a good place to take a victory picture. <laughs> All right, Papu, what do you got for a victory pose? Nice. Nice. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot, Raptor. Uh, this has been a rough go with this boss, so I appreciate that greatly. <laughs> Ooh. Man, my heart rate's still way up there. Got my workout in tonight, at least in terms of uh, heart rate. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Bird tree's favor. Okay. And what does that give us? Maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. Okay. Let's go this one. Oh, that is really nice. I could have used that pre-battle. Uh, yeah, very tempting. And just finding those openings is just tough. Just so tough. In his one attack where he like does the overhead swing, I, I couldn't read that very well. So like I always found myself just uh, jumping on the dodge on that one just a little bit early. Oh, we have enough to level up again. What am I doing? Why did I do that? <laughs> uh, let's get ourselves... I want to say... I'm just going to go Dex again. I need to look through my items. Is there a key item I got from him? something I got. <laughs> Raptor, how are you doing? I forget what time zone you're in. I'm guessing you're probably uh, already on Tuesday, if so. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day so far. Uh, Finished night shift. Yeah, 7 a.m. Man, uh, that is tough. Night shifts are really tough. So, uh, GG's, I'm making it through. Good work. Good work. Um... All right, what is that message? What do these say? First off, left. Weak foe. Yeah, right. else to do here. Oh. All right. I guess we have more to explore. <laughs> no bosses around. I love it. Hey, I don't blame you there. It's healed by Morgoth the Grace Given. Okay. So I still haven't got Morgoth's... Um, because there's a thing further up that I can't get either. 
But I think that is a problem for future stream we'll need to figure out. Because I have officially stayed up way too late. And that is a really good way to end it. <laughs> um, we are now at rune level 99 at the subterranean shunning grounds 76 hours into the game. Oh, that feels good. That feels so dang good. <laughs> When you knock out one of those tough bosses before bed, it is nice. It is nice. Um, and I get it, Raptor. I, uh, I'm one of those people that has a tough time with meetings and such. And I imagine on, on Night Shift, you probably don't get too many of those. Um, so that, that I wouldn't mind at all, actually. Uh, we need to get some acknowledgments out of the way. Uh, let me hop on over here and give you some puppy camera. There we are. Lucy's being very elusive tonight. I want to thank AJ for the raid. Also, Melly the Belly for the raid. Uh, our resub from Joe and Tay's Let's Plays at 16 months. The Biddies from Good Old Luck Panda. Panda, thank you for the luck. Uh, we had some new friends follow tonight, so thank you very, very much for those. Uh, even though they are anonymous here, um, I thank you very, very much. Uh, let's find ourselves a raid target. Um, I'm going to refrain from raiding No Way Jose. They're also playing Alan Wake 2, which is our Wednesday night game. However, they are already further than us in the game. So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, let's see here. Jess Capricorn's playing some Outer Wilds. Uh, Trash is playing some Fallout 4. KP is playing some uh, Super Mario RPG. Uh, let's see here. Let's see who else we have. Oh, thanks for being here, Danger May. Thank you for being here. Always good to see it in the chat. Always good to enter the danger zone. I appreciate you using your custom sound alert too. I'm just taking a quick little peek of who else is live. Looks like SNES is on, playing some uh, Yakuza. We could raid over there. Uh, I'm just taking a quick little peek further here. Well, you know what? We haven't ever raided YB, and YB is on a first playthrough of Hellblade, uh, Senua's Sacrifice, which the sequel uh, Senua Saga comes out on May 21st of this year, so let's go share some uh, some support over there. Let's go do that. Uh, so I'm going to shout out YB so you know where we're going. Um, YB is a acquaintance from over at Sissy That Games community. I've been over to their streams uh, a few times. Uh, very kind and uh, very welcoming, so please be on your best behavior. Okay. Roxy, you going to tell everybody good night? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. And uh, Charlie should be back with us next week. Uh, we're going to have Alan Wake 2 on Wednesday. And then, of course, uh, on Friday morning, we're going to be continuing further with Final Fantasy 16. And in just around a month's time, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to be out. So we're going to be streaming that right away when it comes out. So if people are dodging spoilers, things like that, just quick heads up. But we have uh, some exciting channel news to announce next week. Uh, it's not any big major deals or anything like that. I just uh, have uh, something I have planned that I'm excited to share with you next week. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> So with all that being said, uh, let us kick off our raid to YB. And uh, thank you again, AJ and uh, Melly for the raids. Thank you for the resub from Joe and Tay's Let's Plays, the Hunter Biddies from 
Panda. And we're going to raid to YB. Grab yourself a raid message on the way out the door. First one for subs, second one for non-subs. We're doing a Wooly Winter raid. And uh, take care of yourselves, everybody, okay? Stay hydrated. Don't stay up too late playing Elden Ring. Or do, because you might just take down a very, very difficult boss and just uh, be on cloud nine. <laughs> Have sweet dreams instead of nightmares. Uh, take care of each other. Little kindness goes a long, long way this time of year. And big cheers, everybody. Have a good night.